again. So we're going to learn a new knife pattern today. We have been playing around with our first one, crisscross deadly sauce. The one we're going to learn today, I've borrowed it from many, many friends, uh, and I'm homaging them throughout this whole thing. I'm calling it the Persian Tango. The Persian, because we're using a Persian blade today. The Tango, you'll see what I'm talking about at the very end. All right, so this one is a knife pattern that we're going to add a defensive pattern to it as well. And we're going to play around with the concept of I'm attacking someone who does not have a weapon. So the checks and the oppositional blocks and those sorts of things that my partner will be doing in response to my attack will be him with just two hands defending himself and no knife. So I'm gonna, as I give you the cutting pattern, add in places where I will be dealing with his checks and oppositional blocks to my attack. Yes? Here we go. All right, so the first attack, we're using a forward grip and I'm going to be doing a thrusting action. Where I'm trying to thrust him is I'm trying to thrust straight from my shoulder to his shoulder, from my right shoulder to his right shoulder, and I wanna try and catch him right here. I'm just trying to thrust it right in there where the shoulder muscle and the pectoral muscle meet on the right hand side. So I'm thrusting across my body to his right, right there, boom. And I wanna catch him there, but he's gonna do a left-handed check, so I'm gonna reach up and I'm gonna grab his left, and I'm gonna knock it away and I'm gonna re-engage and try and cut from left to right across his throat. He is going to isolate and check with his right hand. I am not taking no for an answer, so I'm gonna try and dive bomb it underneath that check. He's gonna re-engage his check as a forearm check and sweep it down and through as I'm trying to gut his belly. So my third cut is sort of a semi-circle where I'm trying to get up under his belly and cut him here. So I've gone from here, one, here, two, here, three. Now, I've just tried to cut at his belly. Now I'm gonna try and re-engage once again, and I'm gonna do just a chopping action with the blade, trying to chop him right here on his shoulder, yeah? What he's gonna do is he's gonna do an oppositional block with his left hand. I'm gonna then try and come up over the top, because he's gonna use his arm and his left hand for that oppositional block, and it's here. So I'm gonna try and come up over the top of that, where he's just blocked it, and try and cut him diagonally from the chest on his right chest pectoral area down diagonally across his body to the hip down here. So I just chopped at him, he gave me that oppositional block. I'm gonna try and sneak over the top of it and cut diagonally across his body from that right chest to that left shoulder area. And he is going to respond to that and give me a double sweeping check with his hands. Then I'm gonna re-engage by chambering a thrust for his belly, boom. He's gonna come up over the top with a double check. From there, in his double check, I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna grab his right shoulder. And then I'm gonna yank him away. As I'm doing that, I'm chambering this and I'm sending my blade up so it's vertical and I'm gonna try and do a chopping action right in this area at him. So I knock him away and I go for that area I've just exposed. All right, from there, partner has checked with his left hand. Then I'm gonna try and sweep it down and through a semicircular cut, trying to cut the inside of the thigh, get him there, make him bleed, and he's gonna be re-engaging with his forearm a sweeping check, sending it down and through there. I, as that's happening, I'm gonna knock that checking arm away, bam, and try and re-engage with a thrust into the side of his ribs, palm down, thumb toward, bam. So it goes just like this. Then he's gonna check that, then I'm gonna try and re-engage that and push it on through. He's gonna isolate and he's gonna check with his left hand and send me packing. And I'm gonna try one last attack right at his right side. He's gonna use his hands to give me a full on oppositional block. And then, then we're gonna try and show you this arm that goes with that. All right, okay gang, we're gonna do the whole pattern now. All right, one, thrusting where that shoulder and pectoral muscle meet on his right side. Reaching up, getting rid of that checking hand. Two, cutting from my left to right across his throat. He checks me again. Three, I'm trying to dive bomb it and gut his belly. He's gonna re-engage that checking arm and use his forearm to sweep it down and through. Four, I'm gonna try and chop at his right shoulder at the bottom of that muscle. He's gonna do an oppositional block with his left hand. Five, I'm gonna try and come up over the top of that oppositional block and cut from his right chest to his left hip diagonally across his body. Six, I'm gonna thrust it straight in. He's gonna come up and over the top with a double check. 
boom, seven. I've grabbed his arm. I've knocked him that way. I've grabbed his right arm and knocked him that way. I've re-engaged my blade in a vertical fashion, and we're gonna try and chop right at that right shoulder, bam, of his. All right, he's gonna give me another left hand check, and I'm gonna try and dive bomb this thing in a semi-circular fashion down and cut the inside of his leg. He uses his forearm to sweep it again. I knock that forearm, that left-handed forearm away, boom, and try and re-gauge by thrusting him in the ribs, bam. He gives me an oppositional block with his right hand. Then I'm gonna try and push on through anyway. He's gonna come up over with his left hand, isolate his body, and use that left hand to check me through. And I'm gonna try and give one final chop, boom. And he's gonna give me an oppositional block and hopefully disarm me. Yeah? Yeah, here it is, just looking at it. This cutting pattern so far we have played around with what the attacker does the pattern that he follows he goes for me here 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 etc so now we're gonna look at the flip side of this the partner side of this all right now in this instance a uh, person who's playing the defensive side of this pattern does not have a knife for some reason they left it at the cleaners or whatever and find themselves defenseless against a man with a knife what does one do one survives. Here's how. Partner okay. is attacking me. They are thrusting. They've chambered in a forward grip and they're going to thrust from their right shoulder to my right shoulder and they're trying to stab me right here where the pectoral and the shoulder muscle meet. Right here. Boom. So as he thrusts in, I'm going to isolate, save what's endangered, and I'm going to check with my left hand. My partner doesn't like that I've done this and so as I'm doing this, he is already responding. He, with his left hand, is reaching up under his knife arm grabbing my forearm and knocking it down and away. So as he knocks it down and away, oh, I'm exposed. He goes for the throat. I have to isolate, check with the right hand. He doesn't like that either. So now he's gonna try and dive bomb it and do a little semicircle and gut my belly. So as he does that, I'm gonna isolate. I'm switching to a forearm block here. So I've gone now from this check right here to a forearm check sweeping it down and through and out of the way he's going to re-engage this as a palm down cut and he's trying to catch me right here so as he, re he as he engages he's going for this muscle right here so as he has prepared this cut i'm reacting he's doing this quickly and i'm reacting boom oppositional block where I'm putting a full-on stop to his attack with my left hand and still using the right arm a little bit which I've been using for the previous check. Now he's gonna try and pick that knife up and over my check here and send it down and through from the chest muscle down to the left hip. My response, come back to this, my response to that is oh no he's gotten past my defenses boom so I'm bringing the hands from here down and through, knocking it away from here to there. So one more time, I've just done the oppositional block. All right, he's bringing that up and over. He's going from my chest down to my hip, boom, down and through. All right, then from there, he's gonna chamber it back for a thrust straight at my belly. I bring my hands up and over once again, boom, double check. My partner doesn't like this at all either, so he's gonna reach across with his left hand. He's gonna grab me right here. He's really just creating a little C with his hand, placing here. Then I react as though he has wrenched me away in that direction, Whoa. exposing this area. He is then going to engage the blade in a vertical fashion like this and do sort of a punching chop right at this area. Boom, trying to disable this arm. 
I respond to that by isolating, checking once again. He's gonna try and get up underneath this check and cut the inside of my thigh in that semicircular fashion again. I'm isolating and I'm using my forearm now to re-engage that check and send him on his merry way. Then from there, he has taken his left hand. He doesn't like when I do this, so he's taking that left hand and he's knocking it up and away. He's just gonna place his hand and give me a little high five on the forearm. Oh, knocks it up and away. What he's gonna try and do now is he's trying to thumb that palm down blade into my ribs right here. I am forced because my left hand just got knocked away. Oh, I'm forced to do an oppositional block with my right hand. Then he's trying to re-engage this thing again and just push it on through. I isolate to save my ribs, get in behind it with my left hand and check that sucker on through. He's gonna re-engage one more time and try and chop me again. Boom, I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna grab him like this. I'm creating basically a little landing place for his wrist and forearm to land in. So I catch him thusly when he lands. Boom, it's like a little Venus flytrap. Boom, got him. All right, and then from there, we'll teach the disarm in a little bit. So here's the whole cutting pattern one more time. I'll point to where he's attacking and I'll show you how he's dealing. First, boom, right here, he's coming at me. Isolate, left hand check. He reaches up under, he gets rid of my arm first. Bam, now he's going for my throat. Whoa, I gotta isolate right hand check. He keeps going and he's trying to dive bomb it now down and cut my belly. I keep in contact and I use that forearm as a sweeping check here. Then he's prepping for a cut to this shoulder area right there. And boom, oppositional block. He tries to get up over the top of that, going from my right chest muscle, diagonally across my body, down and through my left hip. I come up over the top with both hands, boom. So I've gone from here to here, bam. He rears straight back and he's going right for my belly, double check, up and over, bam. He grabs right here with his free hand, wrenches me this way, blade goes up, vertical chop at this area. Boom, another left hand check. He tries to do that semicircular down and through cut, tries to catch the inside of my thigh, isolate, forearm check. Then he doesn't like this. He reaches up and under, gives me a high five on the forearm. Boom, boom, knocks it away. Now he is trying palm down, thumb toward to jab that knife into my ribs. Boom, right handed oppositional block. He tries to re-engage it again and push it on through. I really isolate, catch the left hand, check it on through. He tries to chop me one more time, boom, I catch him in the old Venus flytrap. Awesome. Okay, gang, so now we've caught him in the flytrap, bam. Now we're gonna try and show it from the attacker's view and the defender's view at the same time with a little cinema magic. Hope it doesn't suck. Let's find out. we left our heroes they were exploring this new cutting pattern this Persian tango cutting pattern and exploring the defensive side of the Persian tango cutting pattern attacker has a knife victim is defenseless I've only got two hands to defend myself with now we can set this up where we can add in a quick little disarm at the end of this pattern so that I who have been attacked so far this whole pattern can then disarm my opponent suddenly have a knife my opponent no longer has his, and we can repeat the pattern where I become the attacker and he does the defensive side. And this way, as a drilling option, we could just go back and forth with it. So, when last we left our poor defenseless hero, he had just caught this cutting action going toward him in this little Venus flytrap. I caught him right here about the wrist forearm area. Boom, right in there, nice and soft, nice and easy. I take it up and over. As soon as it's clear, 
I start stepping in with the left, step in with the right, pivot to the back, clamp here a little bit, just give him a little hug with my arm and my rib cage. He shows this action to the audience showing, oh my, my arm has been wrenched. Arg! He loosens his grip, allows me to grab the blade safely. Ugh. And then I can start the attack and go right for his shoulder pectoral area, the number one of our cutting pattern. One more time, here it is, all smooth together. Just caught it, Venus flytrap to death. Arg! Yeah? If it helps you, now we're gonna look at it from a side view. What's that? You'd like to see it again? Okay. Just caught that last cut. Venus flytrap of death. Taking it up and over. Yamo be there. Up and over, step in. Turn the back, clamp down. Arm wrenches. Opponent is doing that, not me. Arrgh! He loosens his grip so I can take it. Boom. And start the attack on him. Fun stuff, huh? Okay, gang. So, we've been playing around with a new knife pattern. We've learned the attacking side with the knife. We've learned the defensive side where the partner has no knife and they must survive using only their hands and their wits. We then added in a disarm at the end so that we can, for drilling purposes, just go back and forth between partners with this, attacking and defending, attacking and defending. Practice, make sure you're going through it and looking at each little minutia specifically on the defensive side because we have a whole lot of different checks and oppositional blocks and very sweeping forearm movements that are very specific. So go over them again and again and again. Now, you've probably been wondering, okay, Persian Tango, it's got a knife. Okay, why are we calling it the Persian Tango? <laughs>